Oh, hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Coach Renee, your health and wellness strategist, where I bring to you every single week strategies on how you can begin your journey towards optimal health and well-being, right? I um, am where I talk about all things healthy, all things whole, all things natural for the mind, body, and soul. And we have to include all three of those because without one, the other one is not going to function pretty properly, right? So um, if you're new to my channel, I'm so thankful that you're here. Welcome. Welcome. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so you don't fit, so you don't miss any of uh, my videos that I'm sharing with you. Um, also, hit the bell so you can be notified when I have just dropped the next video or the, the yeah, the next video. All right. Um, last week I talked about daily habit number two, this, which was self care this week. I'm going to talk about daily habit number three, which is emotional intuitiveness, right? And you're probably saying why more about the mind? Why more about the emotions? Why more about the spiritual aspect? because our mind is so important and what goes in our mind is really, really important. So I want to um, just touch on um, being how you can become the queen of your castle. What is your castle? Your body, right? Be in tune to your body. Um, emotional intuitiveness is all about what's happening <clears throat> in your space. Uh, what are you emotionally in tune to? What or what is your intuition, right? What and sometimes you are aware of it, and sometimes you're not. Sometimes I'm aware of my emotional intuition, my emotional intuitiveness, and sometimes I might not be, right? It all depends on what's going on at the moment, what's happening in my surrounding. Uh, so, but you know. Getting in touch with your emotions is so important. We need to understand why we feel the way we do when certain things happen to us, right? Why do we feel that way? And it's not a right or wrong answer. It's just, why are we feeling like that, right? It, is it something perhaps that happened in our childhood that reminded us that uh, some event that reminded us what happened in our childhood is the reason why we might be feeling like we're feeling at the moment. And if so, it's okay, but how do you correct that? How do you correct that emotion, that feeling that happened however many years ago? You might um, try to think of something happy or try to replace it with something positive um, and just get rid of that negative thought and that negative emotion if it's going to put you in a position that diminishes your health, right? We don't want to um, engage in negative thoughts or negative behaviors or negative actions that's going to diminish our health and our well-being. We want to always be doing things or thinking of things that's going to increase our health in a positive way, right? Which is why I talk a lot about positive affirmations, right? About I'm healthy, I'm whole, um, I'm smart, I'm courageous, I'm resilient, I bounce back easy. You know, I know I'm smart, I can do this. Um, I am determined, I'm determined to get my health in order. I'm determined to get off this roller coaster ride of chronic pain and suffering. How do we put these positive affirmations into action. We have to put them in action. We start by, you're, you've already started, you're watching this video. That's a start, that's a step towards optimal health and well-being, right? Um, so when you, you know, action is a verb. It's action is doing something about it, doing something about it the problem, doing something about your weight, doing something about your negative behavior, doing something about the chronic pain, right? It's an action that you have to put in place so you can get a result from it, right? So when we recite these um, positive affirmations on a regular basis, you know, 
um, now I'm skipping, I'm thinking about um, successful people in the world, successful businessmen and women in the world. Some of these individuals, they have post-it notes all over their office walls, right, about positive affirmations. I will reach this point in my life in three months. I will reach that point in my life in the next nine months. I will um, be the VP of whatever business, you know, in the next 12 months because I'm going to take training. Um, I'm going to engage in training or I will own this business or I will own this home. Um, so these are things, these are positive affirmations, right? They start in the mind. You can visualize what it is that you want to happen in your life. Same with your health. You want to get out of the chronic pain and suffering? Visualize yourself running a marathon, running around the block, or even walking uh, at a rapid pace, uh, playing a sports, you know, playing racquetball or tennis, or playing with your grandkids, you know, watering your yard, some, you know. Envision what it is that you want to happen in your life and make it happen. So we're talking about health right now. We're talking about our health and well-being, getting out of pain, getting out of um, some of these um, health issues that we're dealing with on a regular basis, right? Envision yourself um, healing. You know, tell yourself, I am healed. I am healthy, right? I'm a winner. I'm strong. I'm strong. I am eternally strong. I am externally strong. I am mentally healed, right? These are positive affirmations. If you say them enough, trust me, it's going to happen. You're going to start feeling less and less pain. You're going to start gaining more and more energy. You're going to start sleeping better through the night. Um, become aware of your emotions. Become emotionally intuitive emotionally in tune to what's happening around you right so um and i know you know for these last three uh daily habits that i've been sharing with you it's it's mainly dealing with the mind the emotional and mental the emotional and mental state of our mind because we have been so uh drained with negative behaviors and negative thoughts and negative um, emotions for so long that that's all we know. So now we have to change the paradigm. We have to shift the paradigm into something positive by reciting positive things. And it's, it doesn't take much or it doesn't take long for us to start seeing positive changes in our lives because for so often... Um, in our younger years, in our childhood, in our teenage years, or even in our adult years, we have been sabotaged, been sabotaged by telling ourselves that we're not good enough, we're not smart enough, we're not pretty enough, we're not tall enough, we're not um, whatever, you know? We've been telling these negative lies to ourselves for too long, and now we need to change it. Turn it around, twist it around, and start to saying positive things, right? These emotions um, are self-images that we see of us that are not so good that we think, we feel. They're self-sabotaging lies, you know? We have to stop self-sabotaging ourselves. Um, Self-judgments. Why are we judging ourselves that we're not good enough? Who said we weren't good enough but us, right? We are good enough. You're smart enough. You're smart, you're beautiful, you're capable, you're worthy, you are. These are the things that you have to start telling yourself. Um, you know, we get these feelings in our mind. You know, our mind is so corrupt sometimes with all of this negative stuff, right? And maybe you're not negative, right? But you are acting as if you are. Your, your action speaks loud, real loud. So, um, we want to walk positive, we want to walk happy, we want to walk excited, and maybe you're not a happy, happy, go-lucky person. It's okay, but you put yourself in a position that's going to stop wreaking havoc on your health. Um, 
because subconsciously, when we think negatively, it's wreaking havoc on our health. It's bringing in more stress, right? And then more stress begins pain, brings more pain. More pain brings illness and disease, right? Disease brings on emotional mess. Just we become emotionally tormented because we have just self-sabotaged ourselves to death, right? So let's get off this roller coaster ride of emotional pain and suffering. And you're going to hear me talk about this chronic roller coaster ride because we've been on it for too long and it's time to get off because we're just spinning our wheels, turning, 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 and we don't know how to get off of it, right? But I want to hear, I want to share with you how to get off and the seven daily habits is going to help you get off of this chronic roller, chronic pain of roller coaster ride, chronic pain of suffering. Get off of this roller coaster ride of chronic pain and suffering. I get my words twisted up because I get so excited and I want to tell you everything and I can't tell you everything in one video. So, um, anyway, all right, you are worthy. You are smart. You are determined to be healed. You are healed. You are healthy. And you're wealthy. Wealth is health. Without health, there's no wealth. How can you enjoy wealth, right? Health is the greatest wealth there ever is. If that's what, if health, if my health meant me becoming wealthy, that's what I want first. I want my health because without it, I can't use the wealth, right? I cannot use the wealth. So experiences, they've been good. They've been bad. They've been confused and it's been just nothing but a lot of trauma. And some of these, some of your lives. Trauma and drama that stuck to you. And that's why there's so much chronic pain. You know, chronic pain is nothing but inflammation on fire. And I'll talk about that in another video. Chronic pain is nothing but inflammation on fire. Once we get rid of the inflammation that's backed up, clogged up inside internally, we will start to heal. The healing process will start to begin. Okay? All right. So, this is daily habit number three. Emotional intuitiveness. Become aware and in tune with where you are. Emotionally. Right? Right? I like to put emotionally and spiritually together because, again, it's all about getting quiet and listening to our bodies, listening to our minds, and listening to our souls. It's all about the mind, body, and soul. Let's get you on track to draw your wellness blueprint, to draw you up a wellness vision. Where's your vision? What would you like to see your wellness vision or your wellness blueprint? Right? We all have at some point in our lives bought a home, our first, first home. And what do we do when we wanted, when we envision, we first dreamed of our first home, right? We can see the outside, we can see the inside. We knew which amenities we wanted. We knew the color scheme. We knew what we wanted on the color to uh, countertops, right? We knew, to, we knew what we wanted our garden, our yard to look like, whether or not we wanted a pool or jacuzzi. All of these things we dream about, we envision. So let's begin to envision what your health looks like, right? 
you are 